Hello, my creative friend. My name is Olga Sarakina, and welcome to my new YouTube video, which will be all about top 10 exercises to train your hand. Actually, these are my favorite exercises because they are both extremely effective and at the same time very simple. So, if you are an artist, a designer, an architect, watch this video till the end. So, let's begin. Exercise number one we aim to draw parallel lines. You can begin with, for example, vertical lines, then you can switch to horizontal lines and notice that they are of same length here. Then you can switch, for example, to a little bit uh, longer, <laughs> bigger uh, vertical lines and then once again you can continue with horizontal lines. Also you can try uh, diagonal lines. The main focus here is to keep these lines parallel. Alright, and a very popular question here is how often should I practice these exercises, Olga? And I'd love to suggest you to practice them every day for a week and at the end of this week you will be shocked how this simple yet effective exercise is transformed and improved your technique. Okay, exercise number two. I call it rounded lines. Well, what we want to do here is to draw a really long line without, without taking our hand off the paper. We can make some circles with it, we can create any forms with it, but try to keep the distance between the lines the same. So if it's one millimeter, so keep it one millimeter everywhere. And please do not get upset if this exercise will not work for you from the first time. Be creative, give it a second go, give it a go and <laughs> enjoy it, have some fun. All right, so our exercise number three, and it's all about squares, so small squares. We want to draw this nice little square and then we want to rotate it, incline it, do whatever we want with it, to make some intersections with several squares, but the focus here. The main idea is to keep the size this of this square the same. I remember when I first practiced this exercise, uh, my squares looked more like rectangles, some different shapes and sizes, but I continued and now as you can see it's so much easier for me to draw these squares and they look like squares if, even if I rotate them. Alright, so exercise number four. And here we select any form we like. So for example I selected this combination of two merged rectangular forms and we just copy it. So we try to keep the same size, the same idea. Exercise 5 is ovals. So here we want to create many many ovals as fast as possible and once again we want to keep the same size of them. And in addition to this exercise, like exercise 5 plus, is circles. So we want to make a lot of circles and keep their size alike. Well, next two exercises are very similar. So exercise number 6 is we drawing a um, rectangular form and we divide it into even number of parts. Plus we can work here not with a rectangular form but with a line segment. So we divide the segment by an even number of parts. Okay, exercise number seven and as I said it's very similar to the previous one. Once again we're drawing a rectangular and we want to divide it into an odd number of parts. So previous one was with an even number of parts, this one with an odd. Also we can choose to work with a line segment and follow the same idea. You can for example select a vertical line segment or horizontal or inclined, whichever you want, whichever you like. So challenge yourself and see how it goes. Exercise number eight, you guys, in my opinion it's the most beautiful and with this stylish design graphic look and it actually reminds me of drawings of famous Dutch graphic artist Maurits Cornelis Asher. So what we do here? We draw a square and we divide each part of the square into four parts. 
after that we draw a square inside of this big square and once again we divide it into four parts and so on and so forth so we divided it and then we take one segment and you see it looks like we rotate the square inside of a big square and you can continue and continue it's really fascinating graphic game in my opinion i'm sure you will be inspired and amazed by this exercise so try it of course and of course no wonders that this exercise is one of the last exercises because your hand is already warmed up and you've prepared for this tough one all right so exercise number nine very fun so we draw a cube so we switch from two-dimensional world world with our previous exercises to three-dimensional so we draw a cube in perspective and we cut little ovals little ellipses in it and it starts to look like it's a cheese a cube of cheese even you can actually cut any form you like it could be a triangular form a rectangular form for instance the second cube i'm gonna draw here will be with triangular cards in it so enjoy this task it's really fun and try to cut <laughs> these little holes as fast as possible because your hand is already well trained all right and it's time for our last exercise and I call it endless eight. As you can see now, I'm writing and writing this in Russian. That means uh, exercises to train your hand. Упражнение на постановку руки, because as you know, I'm originally Russian. And here you go. This is our endless eight. This beautiful spiral. Try to reduce it to narrow it to the bottom or to the top. This exercise I learned from my art academy where I studied for six years. So, so I'm an interior designer by background. And we had calligraphy lessons in our program. So this exercise is one of my favorite and I'm glad to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with your creative friends, maybe on Facebook, on social media. And at the very end, I want to invite you to join my free, completely free online challenge. It's a mini course on perspective drawing. So if you are an interior designer or interior design student, it would be great for you. So direct link is in the description box below. So see you there. Bye for now. And of course, my dear friends, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends.